Come spend one million naira with me as I go on a shopping spree. Just kidding guys, come spend the day with me as I go about my daily business. This is the fit for the day. As you guys already know, I like to look comfortable while going about my daily activities. This is my newest addiction guys. I just love the chocolate scent that this air freshener gives me. Yeah, I know my car is dirty and that's because my big headed brother did not wash the car today, but that's okay. So I got into my car and I was just making sure that everywhere smells nice see this my wash bag my wash bag is always with me wherever i am going to and one thing about me is that i must use my seat belt before i hit the road so i have about two perfumes that i use when i get into my car this is the first one i use before i leave when i get to my destination i use the other one and of course i'm a lip gloss girl and i always always gloss my lips as a girl you need to always look your best no matter where you are going to. So now I was just leaving my estate and the next thing, boom, we're already on the road. One thing about Lagos driving is that no matter how you try to avoid the traffic, you will meet it there. There are two types of boys you will meet in Lagos traffic, the ones that are hustlers and the ones that just want to be begging. You see the boys beside these hillocks, they are the ones that decide to be beggars, not like they are handicapped or they do not have hands or legs, but they are too lazy and they do not want to work. But you see these ones that are washing this car, these are the type of boys that I give money if I want to give up money. Because tell me while your two hands and your two legs are complete, but you decided to be begging for money anyways. Now this car was extremely dirty, but these boys washed this car from a head to toe before we could even get to Aja on the bridge. I honestly think Lagos State should sanction these big trucks because they do not have traffic gators, they use sticks. This is the only way I distract myself from Lagos traffic. Music, dancing, singing, karaoke in the car, whatever, you name it. So we just got to road safety office because I wanted to pick up my permanent driver's license. Now you see the reason why I move around with my wash bag because it contains everything I need. So this was me just making sure I'm smelling nice because smelling nice is a good business. Now this is the second perfume that I was talking about. So because I don't want to enter into this office and everybody's covering their nose, I want them to be asking me, girl, where did you get your perfume? What perfume did you use? Use. Once I was done, I entered inside the building and guys, they gave me a book and they said I should look for my name there. I mean, there were so many names. I looked and looked and looked and guess what guys? My name was nowhere to be found, which means that my license is not ready and the temporal one that they give to me is already expired. You can tell from my face that I'm already stressed, but they gave me this paper. They said it's an extension of my temporal license. And with this, the police won't bother me anymore. I have my best friend here who is also my brother that is making sure I don't bash my car. So he is directing me on where to go. I think Lagos State is the most chaotic city in Nigeria. Because tell me why these boys are fighting because of a plate of jollof rice. A plate of jollof rice. I mean a foil of jollof rice. Like why? Why? Now instead of me to head home, Cheche, I decided to stop at Miss K to get an outfit because I have a club event that i will be going to later in the night now one thing about me is that i'm scared of height no matter how little another thing about me is that once i'm in a close space with my brother just leave it for me my inner child just comes out i just want to be playing around because this is how i play around with my brother in the house so you know it's just what it is so now it was time for me to pick out an outfit i know that most girls like shopping but me, I do not like shopping because the stress of having to choose what to buy is one thing that I do not like to deal with. But as a girl, you have to do it. I mean, who is going to buy your clothes for you? Their customer service here is top notch. This girl was really polite. She was patient with me because one thing about me is that if I enter into any boutique, I'm going to tell you exactly what I want. I told her that I needed an outfit for a club.
club event that I'm going for later and that I wanted to look decent to the club that I do not want to look like you know what I'm talking about. I walked around the shop and I picked up some few choices that I'm going to try on before I make my decision. Mind you guys, I only want to get one outfit. And one thing that you will never catch me doing is impulse buying. If I say that I'm going here to get one outfit, best believe that I'm going to leave that shop with just one outfit. I don't do impulse buying and that's because I am mindful of how I spend my money because I have mouths and I have people to take care of and I have myself to take care of because if I broke now my business and that one is not a joke if I go broke today it is my business I loved this outfit in fact I wanted to get this outfit but my only problem is that this outfit is a size 14 and I'm a size 12 right now the back was loose everywhere was loose but I really wanted to get this outfit but it just didn't come with my size so I just let it go now this is the second choice I like this outfit but I couldn't get it because I've seen like two girls wear this same outfit so I'm like no i don't want to be twining with anybody so this was the black gown i later went for this was about twenty eight thousand plus i think it was about twenty eight thousand five hundred so this is the reason why i don't do impulse buying because just imagine i picked two outfits that would be almost sixty thousand naira you guys can see the price it's twenty eight thousand eight hundred naira so i made my payment and i took my thing and then i was done with miss k bye miss k next up i went to thomas estate to go get my hair washed and done in my favorite salon 3d salon after she was done losing my hair she started washing them i actually enjoy it when she washes my hair because her hands are so so soft and i enjoy every bit each time she's touching my hair because she is really gentle because she knows that my hair is very 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 fragile and one thing about me is that immediately you touch my hair i will close my eyes i almost want to go to sleep like look at me here like look at me why are you closing your eyes open it open it but you know a girl likes what she likes i'm just enjoying myself like look at that do you see how she's carefully picking the hair gently some people will be slamming your hair and i'm like don't you know that this is somebody's head we were done here and i liked how everything came out and of course i have to throw in back my wig because baby girl i can't be caught on fresh yes i ended up not wearing the clothes i bought but you know i still looked beautiful i'll see you guys on my next vlog bye